Are you into big boy? I actually do want to travel around Nigeria. It's just a oh, trip. Go to the good. What's the most time back? I asked a question? The teacher said, is it time for questions? <laughs> Can't you wait? This is the podcast for you. I mean, just a sidebar to Christian. Nobody's getting saved by the fact that you're not getting some. Act of being an adult, grown up is city. <laughs> yeah. What we're talking about. I said what I said. The Unsolicited Opinions podcast starts now. Who was prepared for this? Hello, boys and girls. Hi, how are you? Hello, all. Hello, all. I want to say you look good, but like this is a dark, moody sort of, uh, <laughs> but I trust it. Don't worry. Okay, wow. How um, are you? What do you mean, how am I? You saw me like 20 minutes ago. I'm just, I'm just being polite. <laughs> yeah, so let me not ask. Please, um, I want you guys to know something. These are not the shoes that I came here with. I came here with shoes that had literal fire on them. And my enemies caught them before I got here. Much. Um, I hope you guys have been having a good day. Is this the only session you guys have been to? Yeah. Mm, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to do what we normally do. You know, yes. As always, you guys have plenty of problems. Um, the difference with the live show is that your problems are live. So everybody that has a problem, you are they are in this room. So I want you to turn to your neighbor. Don't look at them. In case you say one or two things and you know that it's them that were talking about you know what i mean and we have um two fantastic guests that are also going to get into it um with us all right so i want everyone to first of all be excited and remember that we are here for afrobeats the celebration brought to you by spotify everybody give a whoop whoop hey yeah i like that yes um, <laughs> and there is a website where they have the history of afrobeats you know women and afrobeats all other cool things it is afrobeats.byspotify.com okay um no never mind i was about to i was about to um say oh no i have a fantastic um, playlist that i think people should listen to but i had a really really awful nickname as a dj during a level so don't worry don't worry forget about it forget about it let's keep it private if you guys really want to hear my afrobeats playlist dm me i'll send it to you but i don't think i should broadcast it publicly it's not gonna bang um, but we're about to get into it. I'm very excited. We have a special agony uncle with us in the house today. Yes, we do. We're not going to be doing this all by ourselves like we usually do. So, ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause to the amazing Fields, the producer. Woo! <laughs> You're not clapping, well. that's why it's not clapping. It's not clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Hi, guys. Afana. <laughs> Welcome. So I Thank you. you. Drink for yourself. Women, you didn't bring any drink for us. <sighs> I mean, I'm Red Cup Gango. It's just, <laughs> those who know, know. <laughs> anyway, okay. So what we do um, on this podcast, really, it's all about, you know, education. Improvement. And, empowerment. Um, empowerment. It's all about, you know, lifting others. Yeah. Abby, it's all about lifting others up. You know, it's all about new dimensions. Yeah. Get. Okay, you don't look like you get what I'm saying. No, more <laughs> that's, that's what we do here. And so normally we start, you know, because we're founts of wisdom, people usually send their issues to us to to dissect. So you're going to help us before we get into a chat with you. You're going to help us do that. We're going to table one or two matters. And I can say that every all the things here, people have written cards. Um, so if you're shy... If you're shy, you can quickly write your own card. And if you're not feeling shy, you can even stand up. Let's table your matter directly. You get, let your village people look at you in the eye. But I will start. So this person who is here says that they like the idea of loving someone, but they think they have too much love to give. Um, because they end up liking multiple women at the same time. And he is emotional with all. Well, he or she is emotional with all yeah. their yeah. women. I'm sure it's a he. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sure yeah. because they're criminal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so what do you have to say for them? What advice um, would you give someone who has so much love to give? They find themselves loving multiple women at the same time. I they say, Omar, love everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like, there's love and then there's faithfulness i think i think i think it's different i think you can love everybody without 
I feel like we everybody. Yeah, I, no, I feel like we attach love to like sexual agendas. But like, that's what I'm promise you. That's what this person. This is. agenda is sexual. Ah, well, <laughs> um, I can't say for anybody's life, child, but for me, it's just faith, faithfulness is the only way out. To be honest, finding one person to love and loving them effortlessly is the best thing you can find. If you get to find that, then you know you are one of the luckiest people on earth. Because me, I still find, but um. But if you don't, don't want to hear my advice, shall I use protection, shall <laughs> I? have very different advice. Oh, yeah? I think you should put all the women he loves in the group chat. Ah. Yes. yes. You yes. know, because, and you know, what? no, see, the problem he is having, he says that he's just so emotional with all the women. He has just so much love to give. So I think you should do a conference like mm-hmm. this now. You gather all of them in a room mm-hmm. so that you can share the love equally. Let everybody know what's going on. Yeah. With everybody you should put everybody in a group mm-hmm. chat. Explain who they are to each other. I love you all. Then he can share his schedule. Yeah. He can be Time like, table. you, I love you the most on Tuesday. Everybody can now volunteer. Yeah. They want to take this weekend slot. Yes. Yeah. Maybe one of them is doing birthday, weddings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, I think it's better like that. That's a very good advice. Your, own, your own idea is okay. Well, I think the one we, our yeah, suggestion is much better. Yeah. Man. Okay. In slightly like more, I don't know, serious options, this person says, I want to do something meaningful with my life, but I don't know what that is. I'm 27 at the moment, and life seems to be slipping by. I wake up, I eat, I sleep every day. My parents don't put me under any pressure, but it still feels like I'm wasting away, especially because I had a really expensive private school education. I feel like I no longer really have friends because everyone I have has moved on and I feel left behind. How do you find what it is you're meant to do when it feels like you're kind of in a hole and don't have a lot of motivation. Damn, that's deep. I know, right? Um, I can relate to that person because, you know, I felt like that, you know, some time ago. Can't lie, I still feel like that sometimes. I so. beg. Ah, no, I'm not I even, beg. No, I'm not going to sit down here and act like I'm not human. You understand? Like, okay, no problem. Let's exchange. Yeah, I have my... Eh? No, no, no problem. No, we are not exchanging. You, know, <laughs> you want me. But, <laughs> but, um... For that person, man, like, hmm, um, we all we are all looking for purpose in life. We're all looking for, you know, where we belong, what we are meant to do. Um, and I don't want to sound insensitive to that person's feelings, um, but I feel like purpose is. I feel like the fact that you are living is purpose enough. Like, I feel like. You know, like the way I see it, God literally gave us God abilities. Like, and I feel like you can create your reality and create your life literally. Um, you just have to tune out the noise and just stop listening to what's outside and start listening to what's inside. Because I believe Very there's deep. like, because I believe there's like a compass that like guides people inside of them if they're listening enough. It's just very silent. It's what some people call the Holy Spirit too. Um, but yeah, that's what I believe, man. Like, just tune out the noise. It will take time, like, and then be kind to yourself and be patient. Like, mm. it's very important. I feel like we live in a world where we are running against the clock and we feel like time is against us. But that's, time is literally a human construct. It doesn't really exist in the sense of the word. You understand? So, like, just be patient with yourself and, like, look inside, not outside. I think that's the advice I would. You know that yeah. time is a construct. It's very good, but I want you guys to know by 7 p.m. you have to go home in the construction. <laughs> so, you know, as I, I feel you. Very, very, very deep. Oh. You, you, what's your advice? Yeah, very deep. See, I'm what sure. has he said? What has he not said now? No, what's your advice? Join the Holy Spirit. Time is a contract. <laughs> <laughs> Internal compass. <laughs> what else again did you say again, sir? I can't remember. Yeah, you see? <laughs> so, no, I don't, have anything, I don't have anything to add. I think that yeah. the thing is about it is that I think you kind of figure it out as you go along. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure that any of us really know like mm-hmm. what we're doing. Yeah, I think the purpose yeah. is in the doing. Yeah. So you exactly. you'll, you'll start doing different things. There's some things you'll be really good at. There's some things you make a bit more effort. And then there are some things that like doors will just seem like they are opening. Yeah. 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 But it's in the doing. So you have to start doing the things you don't really like. Like, you know, it's embarrassing to keep looking for a job. They are rejecting you. You have to continue like it will get it will get better, but it can only get better if you are doing things, if you are trying. Um, and so, like he said, be kind to yourself. If they reject you, it's not you, it's them. 
you don't want their. I might you don't be want you their, too. No, that's, that's, I, do you know the thing? God bless you because normally I'm always the bad person. Oh, it might not be. It's not you. It's them. It might be you. Might okay, be you look you. This person is already sad, guys. Okay, sorry, it's not you. Exactly. Okay. Right. <laughs> exactly. It's not you. It's yeah. them. You don't even want their rubbish work anyway. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, at um, the end of the day, like I feel like the process is all that matters. Like, because when you really think about it, eh, there's really no destination to this thing. Like, mm. the ultimate destination is. It's them. always when they are successful. Mm. Mm. No, no. No, see, wait. Um, I want you see, to keep you know, going wait, out. Wait, yes. wait. I want me, to land. Me, let me wait, land where I'm wait. going to see. Eh. Like, I feel like when finesse happened there, yeah, mm. I got into like a window where like I was one of the saddest people ever, but I was going through one of the best times in my life. Mm. And that was when I realized that like, this is not the destination. Do you understand? Like, it's... And that's when I knew that there's really no destination about it. Yeah, you get to, you know, a point in life where it's a goal and you've attained it and you... But there will always be more. It's... I feel like life is in that wanting more. Like, we we'll always want more. So, the process is where I find peace and happiness now, not in, like, accomplishments. You understand? Yeah, that's what Please I feel. Please clap for him. Very deep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wanted to ask you something because I was looking through... You know, because why, like I told you, educational, motivational, all that stuff. You know, we had to do research. Yeah, we did research. And I found a video. And yeah. I have a video. Um, <laughs> I think you're playing the drums. Okay. Yeah. And Lil Cash was performing. Oh, my God, that Young video. John, the Wicked producer, was playing oh piano. My Young days. John was playing the piano. And Lil Cash was performing. And you guys were like, all those people in the choir. <laughs> this was this was like years ago. It was yeah, on it was a Danny TV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was on Danny TV performance, and you are po- most popularly known for being a producer. Yeah. So I wanted to ask, like, when did you figure that even getting into production from the jump, being like, okay, I like music. Everybody likes music. Were you like someone that plays instruments, or like how did this? St- how did it actually s- get started? And then on the back of that, now like you've moved from okay, you're a producer. And then now you yeah, are, an you know, an artist. And so what's the difference? Like, it, what's well, a front-facing like? artist. Yeah. Um, so music started from church. Like, um, it started from, I think I was five years old. Um, and then since then, I've fallen in love with music. And I just picked up every instrument I could find. Mm. And I taught myself. Like, um, oh, she genius. I did try. <laughs> 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 but, um, but yeah, that's how music started. It was in church from five. You know, when I was 10, I was already playing the keys in church yeah. for, for service. 12, I was already taking, like, taking lead roles in the choir. Um, 14, 15, I was already choir master. Um, 16, I produced first of all for Lamy Day. Um, and then from there... At 16? Like, at yeah. 16. And this guy is telling us compass. And this compass. guy is telling us follow your internet <laughs> <Guy>. compass. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, like... I started really early with music mm-hmm. and like since then it, it has just been creating and art and music and like you know I'm I'm really very passionate about music actually yeah. like it's life for me literally. That time when you were like 16 working with Olamide then in your mind were you like okay I'm going to keep on producing and doing this or you were like actually I want to be on stage as well? No I actually started as an artist. Oh wow. Yeah but I was too shy to be one. Really? Yeah, it's the I grew up. I grew up really shy as a child. Um, back in school, it was crazy. Um, when you say shy, how shy? Like clinically shy. <laughs> you know, some people will say shy, and it means like, you know, they will write the notes to a babe. They won't say their mind. But well, that's no. I, I wasn't even. I didn't even have enough ginger to write notes. <laughs> okay. Fine. I used to write poems for some of the seniors in school for their own babes, and I'll be giving my guys formats. And they're going easy to catch baby. Me, I'll just be chilling. So you just didn't know how to like talk. In front I just of didn't know how to talk okay. in front of the crowd. So what changed? How did it change? Um, I think growth. I think um, I started forcing myself to sing in the choir and like take the lead role in church. Um, but I would do that with my head down like this throughout. But I would give like a crazy performance and everybody would lose their minds. And then it's not like, you, it's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, when you were doing like when you started doing music, you know, in the walls. First of all, it's in the world. <laughs> oh, I'm just asking for clarification. Were you still in the church again? When I started Singing like producing, church. first of all, yeah, I would go to Coded Tunes even from like what 14, 13. I would go to Coded Tunes Monday to su- to Saturday. I'd go to church to uh, teach the choir on Saturday and mm. then sing on Sunday and then back to Coded Tunes on mm. Monday. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Um. So for the person, just to 
circle it back to the person who said they don't know their purpose. He's in doing now. He's not when he started singing. Yeah, he's in doing. He realized he could play instrument. After playing instruments, became choir master. So he's in the doing now. Yeah, it's in the, the process. The compass and the doing. Everything is in the process. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All you are looking for is in the process. That's what it is. <laughs> Actually, wait. Before you go, I have one more question that I think. Well, I don't know. Let's see if you are familiar with it. This person says, "How do I tell a friend of a friend to find some shame?" I stop asking our mutual friend for money. We all uh-huh. work, so uh-huh. I do not understand her desire for unique basic. <laughs> and this mutual <laughs> friend does not know how to say no. Ah. How do I even answer this question like this? You yeah, must answer. Yeah, uh-uh. how With how do you how do you ask the three of us are friends? Okay. The three of us are friends. To have yes. shame. To stop, stop asking. Begging. So stop uh, to stop owing money. So uh, stop asking. To stop owing or you know, stop no, asking. No, to stop asking for money. But she says she has a desire for owning basic, <sighs> meaning that that money she's asking for, she's, she's not, not paying, back. paying back. <sighs> um, so uh, the three of us are friends. Yeah, I'm no. always asking FK for. Yeah, no, I understand it. I'm just can, no, processing it in my head. The three of us. It's him who asks for money. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why can't I ask? I don't mind owing you. <laughs> you think? You think? Sapa is a universal language, you No, don't want Sapa. Can't say no to. You see, okay. do you know who I blame? The it's person that says they cannot say no. Maybe if you don't have money, you'll be saying no. Exactly, so now. Like, don't shame anybody for asking, man. Like, don't shame anybody for asking for help. If the person doesn't have, say no. And the person will move on. But, like, I don't think it's that deep, to be honest. I think everybody this person is help. embarrassed. Like, that their friend keeps asking. But the person that's asking is not embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed when they are for? <laughs> you know that second hand <laughs> Someone shame. else. Huh? There's second-hand shame. Like, if I come in here with you now, I actually... That one is up to you. I wouldn't concern me, concern your second-hand <laughs> shame. No, be me. I'm not the woman who won the bar. Bro. Like, just, man, just... I'm going to be kind, man. Like, just be kind to each other, man. If, if it's to even you and the person, if it's for two of you to sit down and just open up to each other. Communication is key as well. So, I don't... My mom will always say, Oro, Kin, Tobiju. Like, that means, like... Yeah. Everything I yarn last last. Once you yarn it, everything is okay. Yes. So now I want to open up to you in front of everybody. I don't get. Oh yeah, Send, open up. I need money. <laughs> <laughs> Send me money. You see, unlike the person that doesn't know how to say no, <laughs> <laughs> I put it to you that I cannot give you anything. However, I want to give Jola money. She's here. Speaking of um, money, we have a, another guest that we can possibly ask for money. Ladies and gentlemen, and please give a fantastic round of applause to a fantastic singer, songwriter, artist, all-round premium babe, Nisi. Clap well, so she'll come out. Clap well now. You guys will have drinks. Have life. Yay! <laughs> Hello, dear. How are you doing? You guys, first of all, her energy is so chill. Her energy is so calm. So he gave me an egg got here and he was like, boo, 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 boo. and she was just there, like, how are you guys? Yeah, because as soon as I came inside this building, my my shoes, they just broke. <laughs> they caught, and it was really nice. I keep insisting on this so that you guys will know. Actually, I might ask them to bring the shoe out no, really so nice. that you can <laughs> see. Maybe they should bring it out. She just put it there. bring out the shoe. Just, just so that you have an idea of what I should have looked like, you know. Please, can someone bring out my shoes? Anyway, <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, girl? What have you been, what have you been up to? Many things. Yeah, just us now. Okay. What are you up to recently? <laughs> Releasing this EP mm-hmm. um, called Unboxed. Uh, also working on building the next EV out of Africa, mm. the electric mobility, um, and then building an animation production studio. Oh, nice. And up and doing, babe. I love that. We love Booked it. and quite busy. Wait, listen, aren't you an engineer? I am not. I, I told Good. you. I, I was saying <laughs> but that's my I was fellow saying engineer. engineer. Oh, please. <laughs> God. Please. My fellow engineer. Look how we've ended up now. <laughs> what did you study engineering? She studied uh, chemical she engineering. I'm genuinely an engineer. Oh. Um, but before you, this um, EP is not your first EP, is it? No. Second. It's your second. Um, Nisi, I'm trying to get you to talk a bit more about second this. Second EP. <laughs> seven, se- seven tracks in this Yeah. One. Two features. One with Fireball, one with Tenny. Um, title Unbox came out six days ago, mm-hmm. I think. Um, available on all platforms. It's mixed with genres. It's just about speaking of embracing your multifaceted self. Okay. What mm-hmm. if I? When people say things like that, it's like, oh, th- that's how it feels too. Was telling us about compass in our voice. Like, she said, embracing your multifaceted self. What if you only have one facet? 
<laughs> that's okay too now. Yeah, it's good. What's your, so how's it been since it's come out? Like it's been like a week. It's been good. They've been petting me like Katusha. <laughs> <laughs> um, but do you enjoy that part of it? I prefer the making and the performing. Making and performing. Yes. I, you know, I'm also a musician myself. Okay. Uh, actually, you know, 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 you know I heard a rumor. Actually, uh, yeah. I don't know if it's you or <laughs> I don't know if it's you. One of you can sing really well. Thank it's you. Just- <laughs> You guys, Jola has a SoundCloud. Was that year, she was doing um, covers. The truth is that I'm she so... Was, Jola was singing Alicia Keys. I'm so shy, so I never really talk about my you work. You a little bit. You know, I don't really... I don't, I never, like, you know, talk about the things I do. I'm a very... I'm an introvert. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, it's been said that I'm a chorister. Oh. It's been said by oh. me. We can sing, but she didn't blow, so here we are. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the, the truth. Of the day, she didn't blow. I didn't blow. blow. We will not be here. Because Honestly, we have we, we be out here doing things. Yeah. but you know. And I didn't have I didn't have people around me that were like you know keep going, don't worry. My friends are like, so when will you rest? Uh, <laughs> so I was like, you know, fine. I'll find something else to do. Okay, for me, just send me one of your tracks. You can sing like backing vocals on her track. Fantastic. Speaking I'll, of your- I'll check my schedule. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of your track, I have it. This I, we ask this to everybody that's yes. being fine. How do you feel about putting my name in a song? <laughs> no, I just want you to think about it carefully. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Okay. How do you feel about it? I'm not. I'm not opposed. Mm. I'm not opposed. Mm. I feel like you can do a bonus track. Yeah. For this EP, just throw it in. Mm. You know, fake M F K. Anyone is fine. Yeah. So fine is that right. is that commission involved? Look, let's one thing at a time. One step at a time. One step at a time. But you know how they shout out to people in songs. Is every time you know, <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa every, time, every time. And so I'm on a I'm on a campaign to get my name in a song. Mm-hmm. And like I've seen that the men are not going to do it. So okay. I think uh, on to you. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think your next track. But um, what else? I was reading an article, like an interview that you did, and you were talking a lot about kind of your grandfather's influence yeah. on your music. And I know he worked with a lot. He was manager. Yes, yes. Yeah. So what's that like, kind of like for you to have somebody that did it with like, you know, in that time mm. and you're doing it now? Obviously, it's very different. Things are completely different from how they were doing. We have Spotify and other things. So, yeah. Back in the day, it was a lot of vinyls. I'm yeah. bear in mind, like I'm a kid and my granddad is obsessed with jazz. So he's forcing us to listen to jazz. I feel like my ears were rinsed with Nina Simone <laughs> as a kid. Um, but it helped. It, it taught us how to sing with emotion, a lot more about the music business. He could look at us and say, look, this one you're doing is not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in a different direction. But it was great. It was great. He's a great trooper. He's still supporting us till today. Do you send him? Do you send him your music to be like, oh, what do you think? If I don't, I'm in trouble. Really? Ah, and he takes it like seriously. He's like, oh, very serious. Really? He writes notes. This oh, is wow. a guy that would literally call you and say, "This is your grandfather, Benson Idonaji." Like we forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll be like, "Go track by track." Be like, "Go oh, track I like by this. track. Break it down." So I feel the emotion here. I feel maybe if the saxophonist can bring down the volume. Oh, oh wow! Ah. No, he's very handsome. Wow. Very handsome. I like that. Nice. Yeah. Because our parents refer to this as a little as program. As a program. <laughs> yes. A little my, program. My grandma is always like, oh, so when can I catch your program? NTA or I'm like, sis. We don't want to. NTA. Not on, we're not on NTA. She's yeah. always like, oh, yeah, play it for me. And I'm like, it's not really that type of a thing that I'll just rock up. Like, and whenever I go to the house, she's like, oh, yeah, play the program for me. Like, what time? Is this? And I'm like, but it's not radio. Oh, well, I've just left it. I said, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, let me let me find like a question where I have one. Okay. This person and this person is definitely a clown because they even wrote their name just to show <laughs> you the, the level of boldness. And I want this person to stand here when we finish this program <laughs> so I can m- m- mark you directly. This person says, my dilemma is that I don't know how to get an invite to FK's wedding next year. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I've cleared my calendar for next year and I'll be expecting I can drop my contact details. The thing is, you guys mock me. You guys <laughs> on this podcast, you don't even have any respect. You mock me. Nari, Why do you keep so giving her? Give me. Because I'm be- I did, your character is bad. So I get one too. Okay. 
Okay, fair. You, you ha- you're from a very close knit family, mm-hmm. obviously. Mm-hmm. So this person says, "How do I stop nonsense from family?" I told my parents I want to do music, but they don't believe me. What do I do? <laughs> that the way the person wrote it, that's I felt like that. Very passionate. Yeah. <laughs> you make one of two choices: either you stay rebellious and do your thing. If you are successful, they will come back to you at some point, or chill if you want to keep your family intact yeah yeah what was it like when you said you want to do music obviously your brother is a musician yeah your grandfather like that but when you said you wanted to do music it's funny because we were all young at this time so Mm -hmm. he wasn't even a musician um so i had to prove myself you have to create your own demo yeah (laughs) then everybody will sit down and you play it it's like i'm telling you it's like i know everybody's watching your audition (laughs) You play it and then they decide if you have the talent. Yeah. Exactly. Because they're very honest. My family is a very honest bunch. If you can't do something, they'll be the first ones to tell you. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've met your mom. This is not oh, funny. you have? Uh-huh. <laughs> I was going to say we've had your mom on the podcast and she was you very frank. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know. Ah, interesting. I just thought you'd be like, well, guys, Missy. And you'd just be like, <laughs> okay. You, what do you think about it? Me, listen, so you said, what did she, the person say that their family is... Like, I want to do music. Okay. But they don't believe in me. What yeah. do I do? So, sorry to say, I don't mean it in a bad way. This, they don't believe in you. Is it because the music is, <laughs> you know, oh, oh, no. I'm just, the thing is, you know, people don't like to ask, and I know they're thinking it. This, they don't believe in you. Is it that they think you can't make it? Like Jola now. Wow. Do you know? No. She's a lovely person. (laughs) She's a lovely girl. Okay. Lovely girl. But like the music, Kimi, I didn't believe. I can't believe in it. You know what I mean? Is it a case like that where, look at her talent. She's very talented. She's the first piano. So, does anybody have a question? No questions. Michael Jackson okay. as a person. Hello, guys. Um, my name is Malik. Your name is what, sorry? Malik. Hi. A Spotify influencer from Ghana. Um, I've been here twice. This is my second time in Ghana. And in Ghana, we play a lot of Nigerian music. And most Ghanaians often complain that Nigerians don't play Ghanaian music here. And since I've been here, I've only heard one song from Ghana, which is Can Promise Terminator. Mm-hmm. So... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to know what you think about this dynamic and how it's going to affect... About us. the dynamic of the music. The whole situation. About not playing Ghanaian music. Music here. Mm, Charlie, I'm with you. <laughs> I, I am with you. Now, Charlie, I want to ask you a question. In Ghana, do they play Ghanaian music? Thank you. Oh, Yes. Be- so, because this thing you are saying, I have been to Accra several times. If I tell you that it's different from VI, I'm a liar. In Ghana, gone, are they aware of Ghanaian music? They play, they play mostly Nigerians. So, that is most people, some of them complain. They be like the radio DJ. Are they really complaining? Them. Yeah. Are they, are they complaining? <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. If you're about it, you're about it. What can we do? What can we do? You can't put a bad bitch down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what can we do? So sorry, I'll take it up with Nana and you know one or two others. Don't worry. The funny thing is, she's your relative. I'm Ghanaian. FK is half Ghanaian, uh, which is why I'm telling you that it's us that is the problem. <laughs> because if Ghanaian doesn't listen to and uh, uh, to Ghanaian music, she be the who plays. So that's it. You know. So anyway, thank you for asking a question. I thank you for it. coming. Pre- thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. I hope you had a good this time. Please give a, a round time. of applause to Nisi. You guys should check out her EP that's out now. Um, don't forget to check out the micro sites. Yes, it is afrobeats.byspotify.com. Did I get that correct? I feel like that's it. And it has a whole bunch of cool, interesting information about Afrobeat and all of that. Um, check that out. So thank you. Thank and you, now, everybody. We have reached the enjoyment portion of the evening.